ever notice that your child falls frequently while walking or running? Does your child get tired easily when compared to other children? Does your child struggle while doing physical activities like cycling, skipping, hopping and so on? Does your child drop things frequently? Okay, then don't worry. I am Varsha Ranjan, an occupational therapist associated with Prayatna Center for Child Development, Kochi. And I will try and make it clear for you. So let me start by telling you the signs of clumsiness. A clumsy child refers to a girl or a boy who performs a fine motor and a cross motor task in an immature, disorganized, slow, irregular or an inconsistent fashion. So these children have an awkward moments, are usually poor at games, sports or dance. They also show poor writing skills and a short attention span. Clumsiness can be caused due to delays in the child's developmental milestones, mainly gross motor delays. For example, the child must have skipped creeping or crawling when he or she was a baby. It can also be caused due to delays in the child's coordination and sequencing of motor skills. So I would like to share some activities that you can do with a child at home which will be helpful if he or she seems clumsy. As the name suggests, an obstacle course is a series of challenging physical obstacles a child must navigate. Obstacle courses can include climbing, running, jumping, crawling with the aim of testing speed, endurance and agility. This will keep the child moving and also gives a goal to accomplish. So this activity can be easily performed in the house using furnitures like tables, couches, stools, chair and so on. This will create an area for your child to crawl, run, jump on, under and through. To make it more fun, this activity can be done by including hula hoops to jump in and out, jumping jacks, belly crawling etc. You can be creative and try and make it appropriately challenging for your child without the activity being either too simple or difficult. Activities are not only improve your child's balance and coordination, but also his or her awareness about the surroundings. So first is ball play. Especially catching, throwing and kicking the ball is a very good activity for developing coordination. Second is hopscotch. This is an another activity which can be easily practiced at both inside as well as outside the house. It helps to improve balance and eye hand food coordination. Third is making your child walk on a tight rock. I know you are stunned, but don't worry, it's more of pretend play, where the rock should be placed on the ground and the child pretends to walk on it, as if on a tight rock. Fourth is maintaining kneeling and half kneeling positions. This is an effective way to improve your child's balance, coordination and tongue control. Make your child do some interesting activities in kneeling and half kneeling positions such as ball or balloon catch and throw, bubble blow and poop, tap to shoot and many more. So now, I would like to stress on the following points that you should keep in mind while planning and introducing the activities for your child. Be aware of your child's functional level of performance while setting an expectation for them. Activities should be based on your child's interest. This will help to improve their motivation. Use a multi-sensory approach while doing an activity which means the activity should include songs, movements, textures, etc. to improve the learning in your child. Grade the activities. If your child shows any difficulty in completing the activity, make it more simpler, which means break down the activities into simpler steps and let your child work on one step at a time. And the last is including family members in the activities. This will help to improve social interaction and bonding between them. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any doubts or concerns, kindly contact the Occupational Therapy Department at Prayatna. We are here to help you out. Thank you.